Welcome to another episode of Wicked Gaming. So, what games have I bought since last time? Well, I got a few games and a new system. So, we'll take a look at the system I got. I uh, went yard sailing. Yard sailing? Yard selling. And uh, didn't find much. The only thing I came across was this PlayStation 2 Slim with the memory card and the power cable and AV cable and one controller and it is an absolute mint condition it's hardly been used it was a little old lady who was selling it with her grandchild and the only games that was with it was like SingStar and uh, some Buzz games but I only wanted the system so I haggled, uh, haggled it down to 10 bucks for the system and the controller and memory card because I didn't want the games and um, yeah it shows that they only use this PlayStation 2 for uh, yeah those kinds of games because the controller is look at my hair <sighs> looks like a slob oh well um, yeah the controller is like never been used so yeah that's kind of cool so yeah 10 bucks and uh, in Sweden these go for like 60 like the cheapest ones I've seen and that is the fat one and those goes for like $25 so yeah I'm real happy to get this put that over there <clears throat> so we got some PlayStation 1 games I went to a a uh, retail store who sells vintage games and I got these for a buck a piece so they're not great titles but what the hell for a buck I'll pick them up and they're all in great shape there's no scratches or anything so first up we got oh well these are all places in one game so first up we got Shadow Man a little glare there uh, and it's complete with uh, the manual and everything so now I have both the <laughs> N64 version and the PlayStation 1 version. And next up we got Rhythm Beat. Now this is a... I think you can use this with a dance mat, but you don't need it. So yeah, and this is also complete with manual and everything. Next up we got World Tennis Stars. So I haven't tried any of these games, so yeah. but. Feeling at the collection. Uh, and the last PlayStation 1 game is Checkmate 2. Now I've never played chess, but maybe this will help me learn. Got some anime characters on the back there, so I'll give it a try, see if it's anything. Uh, same day I got the PlayStation 2 Slim, I went to another flea market. And uh, didn't find much there either. I found this one guy who sold me this for five bucks, and that is Star Wars: Old The Old Republic 2 for the Xbox. So yeah, and it is in great condition. The manuals and everything, not a scratch on the CD or DVD. So yeah, for five bucks, that's a great find. I checked online and goes for like. 10 to 20 bucks, so yeah, that's fine. Uh, I did return to GameStop to pick up a few more games, but before I went there, I went to a Salvation Army type place and picked up two PlayStation 2 games. And these were like $2.50, $3 a piece. So this first one was. Uh, factory sealed, but I wanted to play it, so I broke the seal. So that is Seaside Crime Scene Investigators Three Dimension of Murder. Uh, both me and my girlfriend like CSI, so I thought, what the hell, I want to give it a try. I played like two hours into it, and it's, it's kind of fun. It's, it's a little hard, but. And the other game I picked up at the Salvation Army was Lacroft Tomb Raider Anniversary Collector's Edition. Now this was also like three dollars, but the one thing I like about it, it is complete, it is in mint condition, I don't think they even played it, and it does come with the bonus disc and soundtrack. So yeah, you got the game right there. So for 
three bucks, why not? Uh, next up, uh, like I said, I went to went back to GameStop. Um, they still have the three games for four dollars. So I picked up a few more, nothing special, but some interesting titles. So first up, we got Men in Black 2: Alien Escape. Like, uh, and I haven't tried any of these games yet, so I can't comment if they're any fun. Uh, then we got Return of the King. We got a wow! These are all these. No, they're not all movie related, but most of them are. And we got Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith, and it's the platinum edition. Is this it's complete? Yeah, it's complete. Oh damn nose! Next up, we got another movie tie-in, and that is 0711 Quantum of Solace. And uh, they say this isn't very good, but what the hell is cheap? Next up, we got Soldiers of Fortune Gold Edition. Now, I played a bit of uh, Soldiers of Fortune 2, I haven't played the first one, but it's really funny that they say, Warning, this game features excessive blood, gore and violence. Some players might find this disgusting. Yeah, that's always the day one by. This game is violent, you have been warned. Like, you could just put on by me. Uh, left up. We got Age of Empires 2: The Age of Kings. Now I'm not big on strategy games, but my girlfriend kind of likes these kinds of games, so I bought it mostly for her. And yeah, why not? So yeah, I picked up quite a few. I uh, got one PlayStation 3 game. I uh, got this at GameStop as well. Well, I bought these games. And uh, there was only five bucks, so why not? And it is Front Mission Evolved, and I like me some mech action, so yeah, why not? For five bucks, you can take a chance. Actually, I have one more. Where is it? Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't think I showed this in my last video, because it has been a while since I bought it. Uh, anyway, that is Hitman Absolution. Now, this was 20 bucks, brand new, and uh, I thought, I've seen some Let's Play videos of it and I thought it looked interesting and everything, but mostly I bought it because what follows in it was a 30 days free subscription to PlayStation Plus. So I activated that and uh, downloaded uh, quite a few games. It was quite interesting, I did download uh, Catherine, which was Brutally hard, but really funny. Uh, I got Motorstorm Apocalypse. That's quite fun too. I got The Cave, which was uh, wasn't my type of game. And uh, did I get anything else? Uh, yeah, Joe Danger 2, which was so-so. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I got one more thing. It isn't quite video game related. But it is cryptic. Um, this is the first time I've ever seen this. This is a DVD movie, kind of. But you play it like a game with your DVD controller. And it does work with PlayStation 2 and everything. It does say, at last, a playable DVD. So this is a game which you play with your regular DVD player. Uh, it's called The Legend of the Ark Dangerous Haven. And I got this at the same store I got the PlayStation 1 games and it was only a buck. So I thought, why not give it a try? And I thought it looked cool, it's got this plastic, uh, pl plastic, not <laughs> steel case and manual and everything. So it looked kind of cool. So, I'm gonna try it out. Maybe I'll do a Let's Play of it or something. We'll see. So, yeah, that's uh, all the games I've got lately. So, yeah. Uh, well, we'll see you next time.